oh. the next guy. Yeah, yeah, so the next yeah. guy is Keegan Murray, who I think the ideal fit is the Indiana Pacers. So for what everything Sam said, but but here's yeah. myself. You have Miles Turner. You have Tyrese Halliburton. You have Malcolm Brockton, Brogdon. You have Chris Duarte. TJ Warren was injured. He's a free agent. Who knows? I like the IQ of Tyrese Halliburton and Keegan Murray mixed together. That is a slice and dice combination of half court where you're playing those two out of pick and roll. Chris Duarte in a corner, Magda Brogdon in a corner. You have Miles Turner rolling up high, shooting 34, yeah. 35% from three. Pick your poison because you're going to be beat one of those places. And then if, yep. if Tyrese wants to run, Keegan Murray can run with him. That's a that's the fit I like the best for Keegan. I, I liked yourself for Jaden Ivey too. If I were the Pacers, that, that would be the guy that, that I'd want in that range. Yeah, for what it's worth, I think he'd be the best fit for the Pacers too. Like, I, I love everything about that fit. And the other thing is that you didn't mention is he really complements uh, Miles Turner's mm. like one deficiency really well in that he's not an incredible defensive rebounder. Uh, Keegan is really good at grabbing. He can go on the break. He can attack. I think that would actually really help uh, Tyrese Halliburton a little bit as well. Halliburton can spray to the corner while Keegan brings yeah, the ball the up ball and attacks. Yeah, like I also really like the Keegan fit to the Pacers. I, I think that if we were talking purely for Keegan, uh, that's probably the spot I like best. I don't love the Kings because I think that uh, Domana Sabonis right. and Keegan defensively is a little too concerning for me. Um, you know, the Pistons work. Like I, I think the Pistons yeah, are great. really good and, fit and for I, Keegan that, as well. That could be the the landing point. It's, it's the same cell. It's it's a shooter than. Uh, an offensive versatile player for Cade Cunningham to work off of. Yeah, totally. So I like all of this. Um, I'm trying to think who, who is next, right? Let, let's. I had uh, just a list on a master board, but the the next one I had here was Shaden Sharp. So why don't okay. you lead off? You, you take Shaden Sharp off the board for us. What is the best team fit for the international man of mystery from Canada, from Kentucky? Kind of. I think I believe the Pistons for Ooh. him. And the reason I say the Pistons for Shaden Sharp as the best fit is his ability to shot create out of isolation and out of advantage situations, I think meshes really, really well with Cade Cunningham. Cade is going to be able to twist and manipulate the defense. It's kind of similar to the argument I made with Jaden Ivey, right? Um, Kate is going to be able to twist and manipulate the defense, and then he's going to be able to throw it over to that second side, and he's going to be able to find Shaden, yeah. where Shaden's going to be able to potentially get a scrambling defender, uh, you know, coming back out to him. He's going to be able to attack, close out, and get to the rim, or he's going to maybe get a mismatch when the scramble happens, and then he can really create off the isolation and get to his step back jumper. Uh, his ability to move out in transition uh, is. I think really helpful for Cade. He really headmans the ball. Yeah, I, I think that Detroit makes a lot of sense for Shaden. Uh, I think Shaden, you know, makes a lot of sense for Detroit. I would probably go more in the Shaden Ivy um, direction if I was Detroit than if I was, you know, thinking more along the lines of like Keegan and all of those guys. A lot of the Shaden Sharp highlights from grassroots from high school are from those kind of like skips where he's baseline, can rip through, take one dribble, gather, and try to yep. jump as high as he can, which is very high, and rip the rim off and bring a defender with him because he's so strong. My pick for Shaden Sharp is a San Antonio. It's an immediate infusion of strength and athleticism to the Spurs, a team that hasn't made the playoffs in three years. You have to take a swing. You have to add more talent. This gives them a different look than what they have. They have a great development program. You look at Duante Murray. You look at Keldon Johnson, both picked 29th overall. Duante Murray, most improved player in the NBA, or one of them. You can throw the award out. Who cares? Keldon Johnson's on Team USA. I mean, think about that. What happens now when they can have their hands on the ninth pick in the draft? What does he look like in three years? You can pair him with Josh Primo. I mean, give me a break. What, I mean, what's better than that? Yeah, I, I, I like the Spurs for him as well. I, I don't have a strong take. I know that you just wanted to get your primo love out there. I'm not taking <laughs> I was waiting for your reaction. I just wanted like the one raised eyebrow. Like, okay, great. Move on. 